Okay, so we'll go back to another video. So here's what's known as a melon transform. So never been mentioned or introduced to this channel before until now. And this is a type of an integral transform that uh, acts as a, regarded as a multiplicative version of a uh, two-sided Laplace transform. Directly connected to, theory, to the theory of the Dirichlet series. It's often used in number theory, um, mathematical statistics, statistics, even the theory of asymptotic expansions. And it's closely related to the Laplace transform in the Fourier series. So the formula is actually written as follows. So um, for some, the Mellon transform of some function f of x as with the input um, s, then we see that, that that's actually written as the um, following improper integral from 0 to infinity of x to the power s subtract 1 of f of x dx. So this is probably straightforward to see that we actually just have to just plug in whatever our function here into here, and then we actually just need to calculate from there. So nothing more needs to be said. What we see um, as we go along through the process of the procedure is that there's actually going to be a bunch of other formulas involved, mainly the beta and the gamma function, and even its properties as well. So just something to you know expect. So why don't we actually just jump right in? So if I plug in this definition in, so for the formula, or the function, so the Mellon transform of 2x divided by uh, 4x plus 1 to the power 3 over 2, and then some input s, then putting this back into the integral, this is 0 to infinity of x to the power s subtract 1 of that same function just for the input, uh, 4x plus 1 divided by or to the power um, 3 over 2, then dx. So from here, we can actually see that we can um, manipulate some stuff over here. So if we just put the x um, back into the base from the numerator over here, x to the negative 1. So we see that an x cancels, and so all we're left with is x to the power s. So the integral from 0 to infinity of 2 times x to the power s, and then divided by 4x plus 1 to the power 3 over 2, then dx. How do we actually tackle some integral like this? Let's actually perform a u sub. So u, um, suppose u is equal to 4x, and then we actually have to plug in back for x, so um, solve for x on its own, then x is just equal to u divided by 4. Take the differential both sides, and so we have that du is equal to 4dx, then in other words, it's just 1 over 4 times du equals dx. Okay, so now we just have everything that we can plug in. So for one, um, the two can come outside and I'll also put out the one over four as well. So that actually reduces to one half outside, then change our bounds, but actually it's actually still stays the same. So it's from zero to infinity. And so what we have now, this is going to be u divided by four is our new input for x to the power s, and then divided by um, u plus one and then to the power three over two, and then d. Okay, and so from this, let's actually simplify things even further. We see that if I distribute the s for the exponent for 4, so that's also still constant, and so is s um, in this situation because we're only depend focusing on the um, independent variable for u, so that can be put outside, and with this, it shares the same base of 2. In other words, this can be the same thing as written as 1 divided by 2 to the power 2 times s, and then plus uh, 1. Then we have the integral from 0 to infinity of um, u to the power s, and then divided by... Uh, u plus 1 and then 3 over 2, then du. Okay, with that, now let's actually introduce some um, couple formulas, as mentioned, beta and gamma, but we'll, st we'll start things one at a time first. First off, we'll see that um, for the following beta function for inputs um, m and n, this is the integral representation. This is, says this is from 0 to infinity of u to the power m subtract 1 divided by u plus one quantity to the power m plus n, then du. And then also, in other words, we'll be using the gamma representation that which also says that this is just gamma of n times gamma of n, and then divided by gamma of m plus n. Okay, so with that, um, now we'll actually uh, put everything back together. And so we have that now, the Mellon transform of our given so far is going to equal one divided by two to the power two s plus one. Then replace this with, um, if you put in the new inputs correctly, we're gonna have that this is the beta of the following inputs, s plus one, and then one half subtract s. And so from there, now we have to calculate what beta of our you know two inputs is equal to. So let's actually get on to that. So one half minus s. And so we can actually use the gamma formula over here. So this is gonna be gamma of s plus one, then multiply gamma of one half, subtract s, 
then divided by gamma of those sum of these two inputs, which of course that's actually going to equal 3 over 2. So this actually comes to a pause and how do exactly do we calculate gamma of 3 over 2? We know that uh, with the current relation of gamma of m plus 1 in order words is the same thing as um, m times gamma of m. So with this we can actually replace, um, we can actually substitute the bottom, the denominator over here and see that gamma of 3 over 2 is actually just equal to 1 half multiplied by gamma of 1 over 1 over 2, which we know that gamma of 1 half is the same as um, the square root of pi. And so this is actually calculating all this out. We have the square root of pi divided by 2. And so now with all this, so now we have that beta of s plus 1 and then 1 half subtract s. So far, we have that, uh, putting this back in the denominator, we have 2 times gamma of s plus 1 multiply by um, gamma of one half subtract s being divided by by the square root of pi and so basically we're just done so we already found what the gamma or we found what the beta um value is with you know parameter of s so we just have to multiply this with the one divided by two to the power two s plus one so i'll put this in final the melon transform of our function two x um four x plus one quantity to three over two s is going to equal gamma of s plus 1 multiplied by gamma of 1 half subtract s and then all this being divided by 2 to the power 2s and then multiplied by the square root of pi just like that we have found our um, close form or the melon transform of our um, given function and simply with using the by definition and of course the few properties of the functions that beta and gamma that we just use. so yeah that's uh, pretty cool if you ask me.